If you go to a big arena concert, like Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, or watch your basketball team score a buzzer-beating three-pointer in the playoffs, or attend a K-pop show, light-up sticks and wristbands will likely be a part of the experience, turning the audience into part of the show with synchronized light displays at the touch of a button. So how do these small devices create these huge immersive visuals? It's funny because oftentimes people think like there's a GPS in each of the devices or like there's a lot of like AI advanced technology, but we, we really like the old school technology <laughs> and just be creative with it, you know? This is the tech behind LED wristbands. Montreal-based PixMob is a leading company in event LED technology. PixMob won't comment on whether or not they're involved in the Eras Tour, but they have done previous Taylor Swift tours, as well as Coldplay. The Weeknd, Bad Bunny, we do most of the major tours uh, in North America. We work a lot with NBA, NHL. And to do that, they use two different technologies. Let's start off with the simplest, RF wristbands that receive a radio frequency communicating the precise timing and colors for each band. The two white squares here are the two LEDs, and here you have the small computer that controls those LEDs, and then you have that other black thing that receives radio frequency and gives it to the computer, and then the computer will light up the LEDs based on the RF commands that it received. This is what PixMob used for Game 5 of the Knicks Heat series. When fans went to their seats at Madison Square Garden, they found one of these RF wristbands waiting for them, each one pre-programmed to be a part of a different group. So a wristband in this section, for instance, is programmed to be in group one for one effect, group two for another. Up near the entertainment control room, operator Avril serves as the conductor. When one of the programmed effects is activated, different groups light up in sync to create different patterns within the stadium or she can manually play with them based on the moment, flashing Nick's colors. Orange, blue, orange, blue. It's really fun to kind of see the, the crowd get into it and be excited. You're having them be part of the show, which is, which is special. The signal emits from this really small box. We have a very simple transmitter. It's like the size of a tissue box that we can connect to a light board. We like that technology because you can literally travel with the whole control system in your suitcase. RF technology is what most other wearable LED companies use too, like Xylobands, who do everything from Eurovision to corporate events. But the more advanced wristbands, like what you see at the Super Bowl or Lady Gaga, use infrared technology. So the same thing that you use to turn on your TV, it's kind of like technology that is like 50 years old. It's really old school tech, but we've managed to twist it in a way that makes it quite new and magical. Uh, because we use infrared, we can send data to specific locations, so to you or to the person next to you, and it doesn't have to be the same data. So that's how we create those spatialized effects, as we call them, where we can almost turn a crowd into like a video canvas. These signals come from robotic transmitters placed all over an arena. You can see it here at a Coldplay concert last year. These transmitters were placed on sound towers and the stage. Here's what that looked like in PixMob's visualizer, which is how it designs what the shows will look like and what the wristbands, the company calls them pixels, will do. These two lines are basically the center of each of the transmitters. So even if we have two transmitters right now doing the swipe, it still looks like one wave. By simply adding you know, more of these moving heads in, this, in a setup like this, we could do more complex animation. When PixMob wants to display a shape, like say these hearts, it just puts on a mask like this to shine the infrared signal through it. If you're under the infrared beam and it tells you to go red, then you go red. And then as the beam moves away from you, then you go back to whatever color you were or black or whatever like that. So it's really like, the, the wristbands are quite stupid <laughs> in a sense, but we like it that way, you know? Uh, and all the, the kind of smarts uh, of, of the technology is, is really in the transmitters. Audience concert lighting really started in Korea with K-pop bands back in the 90s. And they get quite creative now too. And those light sticks aren't handed out as part of the event. They're mementos that fans will sometimes spend more than $100 on. 
they work a bit differently. You download an app, put in your seating information, and connect the light via Bluetooth. It's how they can be very detailed in their arena-sized designs. Fans call it an ocean. But whether it's Bluetooth, RF, or infrared, the experience of these wearable pieces of technology are only getting more detailed to make every fan feel like part of the show. 